Hello everyone. I welcome you again to the lecture series of object oriented programming using C++. We'll be going to study exception handling today. These are the list of topics to be covered in today's lecture. Exception handling, types of exceptions, catching exceptions. What do, what do you mean by exception? Or what is exception handling? Or you can say what are C++ exceptions? When executing C++ code, different errors can occur. Coding errors made by the programmer, errors due to the wrong input, or other unforeseeable things. When an error occurs, C++ will normally stop and generate an error message. The technical term for this is C++ will throw an exception or you can say throw an error. So an exception is a program. It is a problem that arises during the execution of a program. A C++ exception is a response to an exceptional circumstance that arises while a program is running, such as an attempt to divide by zero. Exceptions provide a way to transfer control from one part of a program to another. C++ exception handling is built upon three keywords. Number one, try. Number two, catch. Number three, throw. The try statement allows you to define a block of code to be tested for errors while it is being executed. The throw keyword throws an exception when a problem is detected, which lets us create a custom error. The catch statement allows you to define a block of code to be executed if an error occurs in the try block. The try and catch keyword comes in pairs. So throw, a program throws an exception when a problem shows up. This is done by using a throw keyword. Catch, a program catches an exception with an exception handler at the place in a program where you want to handle the problem. The catch keyword indicates the catching of an exception. Try. A try block identifies a block of code for which particular exceptions will be activated. It is followed by one or more catch blocks. Assuming a block will raise an exception, a method catches an exception using a combination of the try and catch keyword. A try catch block is placed around the code that might generate an exception. Code within a try catch block is referred to as protected code, and the syntax for using try catch is as follows. So, try, then the protected code, then catch exception name E1, catch exception name E2, and catch exception name EN, and then the catch block. You can list down multiple catch statements to catch different types of exceptions in case your try block raises more than one exception in different situations. So we can clearly have more than one catch statement if the try block is raising more than one exception. There are two types of exceptions in C++, synchronous and asynchronous. Asynchronous examples are which are beyond the program's control like disk failure, etc. C++ provides the following specialized keywords for this purpose. Try. It represents a block of code that can throw an exception. One of the advantages of C++ over C is exception handling. Exceptions are runtime anomalies or abnormal conditions 
that a program encounters during its execution following are the main advantages of exception handling over traditional error handling separation of error handling code from normal code in traditional error handling codes there are always if else conditions to handle errors these conditions and the code to handle errors get mixed up with the normal flow this makes the code less readable and maintainable with try catch blocks the code for error handling becomes separate from the normal flow number 2 functions or methods can handle any exceptions they choose a function can throw many exceptions but may choose to handle some of them the other exceptions which are thrown but not caught can be handled by caller if the caller chooses not to catch them then the exceptions are handled by caller of the caller in c++ a function can specify the exceptions that it throws using the throw keyword the caller of this function must handle the exception in some way either by specifying it again or catching it grouping of error types in c++ both basic types and objects can be thrown as exception we can create a hierarchy of exception objects group exceptions in name spaces or classes categorize them according to type exception handling in c++ let me show you a simple example of exception handling in c++ see this is the simple code for it you have to write try then the protected code then catch then the name of the exception and here you have to write the code to handle exception name exception so above code will catch an exception of exception name type what is the basic difference between error and exception exception is the exceptional situation that can be handled by the code of the program the significant difference between error and exception is that an error is caused due to the lack of system resources and an exception is caused because of your code so how do we handle runtime exception generally the point of a runtime exception is that you can't handle it gracefully and they are not expected to be thrown during normal execution of your program you just catch them like any other exception like in the try block something throwing a runtime exception then in the catch block you have to catch that runtime exception and then in the code you have to do something with it can we throw exception manually you can throw a user defined exception a predefined exception explicitly using the throw keyword to to throw an exception explicitly you need to instantiate the class of it and throw its object using the throw keyword what is exception give example if this type of question is asked in university then you have to write a runtime error is called an exceptions error it is an it is any event that interrupts the normal flow of program execution example of exceptions are arithmetic exceptions null pointer exception divide by zero exception etc what is the difference between catch and throw exception try catch block is used to handle the exception in a try block we write the code which may throw an exception and in catch block we write code to handle that exception throw keyword is used to explicitly throw an exception 
generally throw keyword is used to throw user defined exception why catching exceptions is bad catching exception is a bad practice because it catches all runtime exception too catching specific exception classes means you will need to reanalyze your actions for which exceptions can be thrown when you look to see how this code handles exceptions so is it okay to catch runtime exception any exception that can be thrown by a method is part of the method's public programming interface having to add runtime exceptions in every method declaration would reduce a program's clarity thus the compiler does not require that you catch or specify runtime exceptions although you can the catch block following the try block catches any exception you can specify what type of exception you want to catch and this is determined by the exception declaration that appears in parentheses following the keyword catch when should you throw an exception one rule one thumb rule is to use exception in the case of something you could not normally predict examples are database connectivity missing file on disk etc the throws clause specifies that the method can throw an empty stack exception as you know the java language requir requires that methods either catch or specify all checked exceptions that can be thrown within the scope of that method so you do this with the throws clause of the method declaration the keyword throw is used in the program for throwing exception manually in java program also so if we are not able to handle exception the program terminates abruptly and the code past the line that causes the exception will not get executed when a method throws an exception the java virtual machine searches backward through the call stack for a matching exception handler each exception handler can handle one particular class of exception an exception handler handles a specific class can also handle its subclasses so this was the brief introduction of uh, try catch throw in java as well exceptions are events that occur during the execution of program that disrupt the normal flow of instructions the throws should be used when the caller has broken their end of the contract and the try catch should be used when an exception takes place during an operation that is being carried out inside the method what happens when an exception is thrown by the main method when an exception is thrown by main method what java will do java runtime terminates the program and print the exception message and stack trace in system console the throws clause only states that the method throws a checked file not found exception and the calling method should catch or rethrow it so this was all about exception handling you can try any type of program like divide by zero array out of bound index etc by using this try catch and throw and you will definitely get the result try these try more and more examples programming examples so that the concept becomes more clearer to you as this is a programming subject you need to give code against your theory part as well in the university exam you can get directly direct questions like what do you understand by exceptions what are the types of exceptions what do you understand by try catch throw but with every question you have to give the uh, program as well along with the output so i hope the lecture was clear to everyone
thank you so much for listening to this lecture have a good day